Hi, and uh, welcome to the LB Zero Fox India YouTube channel. I'm your host, Morden, LB Zero Fox India. And today we'll be taking a look at part two of my Linux for Portable Operations series. And it's taken a little bit between the first and second part. And that's because things didn't turn out as easy as I thought they would. There's actually been a couple of hurdles. So what are those and what did I end up with? Well, hang on after the intro and uh, we'll take a look at how far I've come. So, as I stated in the intro, I've had a couple of hurdles along the way, and I'm not going to go deep into detail on those, because the experience will be different for you, uh, depending on what computer, what Linux distro, and what radio you have. But I started with Ubuntu, as I said in the first part, and I couldn't get the u link interface to stay connected uh, at all. It disconnected straight away when I plugged it in. So I gave up on Ubuntu and I tried uh, Linux Mint instead and it worked straight away there. Uh, the next part was uh, Ethelrig, which had an old version in the repositories in Linux Mint. But I solved that by uh, compiling it from scratch. And, and now everything works. I've set up Ethelrig and I've set up a WSJTX. And both those work. So we're going to take a look at that and uh, see how that works. So we're up and running now with uh, WSJTX and um, Ethelrig, as you can see, and everything works. It connects straight away to the software and to the radio. So um, it is working. And I got a question in the Toads Discord, which is the friendliest place for hams on the internet. I got a link down here for the Toads Discord. So um, if you want to meet like-minded hams, please click on the link. And um, Dirk on the Discord, uh, W9, uh, Romeo Delta Yankee, uh, said that uh, it's pretty cool that I got it working, but why do I use uh, Ethel Rig as rig control? And that's pretty simple. It's actually um, just one point of failure when stuff do not work. There's only one piece of software to configure a radio in, and uh, I can use multiple pieces of software. Uh, with the cat control at the same time. So I can use both the logger and uh, WSJTX or JS8 call or whatever. Right now, the only things I have set up though is uh, WSJTX and uh, Ethelrig. But uh, let's try to do a couple of QSOs here and uh, see if we can get a reply. And if not, let's uh, check um, PSK Reporter afterwards and see where we might be spotted. So... Um, just wait a couple of seconds now, and uh, we're going to do a uh, QSO or two, or at least call CQ a couple of times. I am running two and a half watts now on the FT817. And uh, that's pretty much what I want to run and what I think I can run on the finals here on the 817 on the Digimodes. But I do have the um, QDX waiting to be built. There's going to be a little bit of a video about that soon. Uh, not going to show a build video because it's actually my first kit that I've ever built. So that's a little bit too scary. But I think we're going to do about three CQs here and uh, see what happens. Let's fire up Firefox here and uh, see. And as you can see, two and a half watts of uh, FT8 works. And I'm actually up here on uh, Juliet Oscar 5.9. So uh, I guess we can say that this config works. So that's uh, my progress so far on my uh, portable ham radio Linux laptop. Uh, I've got a couple of more plans and a couple of more things I'm going to do. First of all, I'm looking for a decent logger for Linux. And um, I don't really know what to use. If you have any comments on that, please do comment below. Or if you have anything else to say about that video, also leave a comment. Next up, I'm going to set up JS8 call. Uh, I'm going to try WinLink, which will be a challenge because I know nothing about setting up WinLink on Linux. So that's going to be exciting. And uh, all of those projects will come in, uh, in later videos. 
And um, if you're out and want to do portable, I can recommend the LB0 Fox India Dipole Kit. The link is down below in the description. And also, please do like, comment, and subscribe on both this video and my other videos. And until next time, 7 3.